In this tutorial, we will be introducing the OVMS command line console and shell. This is of basic complexity, although it would be helpful if you have some knowledge of computer command lines. Let's start by looking at the connectors on the OVMS version 3 module. On one end we have the GSM, GPS, and vehicle connectors. And on the other we have the diagnostic expansion connector, a slot for the optional SD card, and the USB connector that we will be using today. Let's connect the module to our computer. We will use a standard micro USB cable for this. Take note of the orientation, as it must be plugged in the correct way, and take care not to use excessive force as you might break the connector in the module. The console connection for Linux and Apple's OS X is similar. Firstly we look at the TTY devices on our computer. Plugging in the OVMS module we can then check again and see the OVMS module device appear. Once we know the device, we can use the screen program to connect to the device, specifying the baud rate of 115200. You can use any terminal emulator, although the screen program is generally available on common distributions. You should see the OVMS console prompt, or press enter to see it. On Windows we are going to use the device manager utility to find the serial port. Start it first, and then plug in the OVMS module. You should see the screen refresh. Then have a look under ports, common LPT, for a Silicon Labs device. In this case OVMS is on COM3, but on your computer this may be different. Let's use a common terminal emulator called PuTTY that is freely downloadable from the internet. Select a serial connection, the COM port we found before, and a baud rate of 115200. Here, we see the messages OVMS sends to the console as it first boots. When complete, we can see the OVMS command prompt. OVMS has many commands and you can use either the command help or the question mark to show a list. You can also use a question mark part way through a command to show options, or the tab key to help you complete a command. The up and down arrow keys will cycle through previous commands you entered. Let's enter the module reset command now, to reset the module just as if we pressed the little reset switch. We can see the module gracefully shut down and reboot, and bring us back to the OVMS command prompt. OVMS has two levels of access. User access is shown as a greater than sign in the prompt and the command disable will switch to that. The command enable will switch to admin secure mode. If you have a password set on the module, switching to admin mode will prompt you to enter it. We can also connect to the console over Wi-Fi using SSH. Under Windows we can use PuTTY, and on Linux and Apple OS X the SSH client is built in. Here I am connecting using the Bonjour system. You can also use the IP address. Unlike with the USB console, log messages will not automatically appear on SSH console connections. So we can use the log monitor yes command to turn them on. We can also use the web browser, or, app messages tab, to access the console, albeit in a more limited way. Here we use the web browser, logging in as admin and then choosing shell from the tools menu. Commands entered here don't have tab expansion, but otherwise work the same way as with USB or SSH. This can only be a short introduction to accessing the OVMS console system. For more detail, Please refer to the user guide. 